my good viewers and uh, my fellow farmers uh, who are watching this platform. Uh, this is Charles, Charles once again from Machamu Green Growers Limited. Today we visited one of our clients and uh, we realized that it is important to actually give our opinion on what we found on the ground. I told you that it's not all the time we would visit those farmers whose apples are doing well, no. Even for those apple, uh, farmers whose uh, apples are not doing well, uh, we are giving a listening ear and uh, we are visiting those farmers uh, just to give guidance on how maybe they should go about uh, with maybe the problems they are having in their farm. Well. Uh, today we are uh, in Sagana, Sagana in uh, Irinaga County and this farmer is seriously uh, having issues with their scales. If you ever happened to see your tree looking like this, that is when you realize that now you have a menace in your farm. You might think that this tree is drying up because of uh, maybe mismanagement or maybe uh, uh, maybe due to a certain uh, deficiency or something. But these ones we call them scales. The scales. When you start seeing uh, the skin of your apples getting you know rough. Uh, having whitish things, uh, you know, whitish substances uh, along the, you know, on the back, let's, let me see, uh, uh, on the back, on the back of uh, uh, the tree. That is when you realize now you're in deep trouble because these ones are skills and uh, this is the end result. Yeah. When they seriously destroy you, this is what will happen to your trees. You end up drying aimlessly. But this one you can only identify it before the issue worsens. That is the only time you can be able to control them. So we have tried the organic uh, means, we have tried the synthetic means, like we've really tried. But now, this is where this farmer is. I don't know how old they are because we are not the one who supplied the seedlings but uh, we had to come all the way and see what uh, uh, the, the, the farmer is doing. We were here like a month ago and the problem was not as what you are seeing now. Things are worsening but we are hoping that uh, uh, having been given the right solutions, uh, the right remedies, she will be able to overcome uh, these problems. So if you ever identify uh, such signs, rough skin, like whitish substances that you don't understand, uh, you just know that you are in deep uh, problems. So farmers, be cautious, be uh, often uh, visit your farm, get to know what is happening to your trees every now and then because th we, we wouldn't be in this problem right now if what is, was it not for the fact that maybe farming from far you know you're farming from far and uh, when you're coming after one month you realize that your trees are just dying and dying and dying huh? A tree, a tree like this one, which was uh, vigorously uh, looking. Look at this. Even the fruits themselves, they are drying. They are drying. Yeah. And here I want to focus on uh, the nursery dealers. Because sometimes we find ourselves, uh, we are not following up with our clients. We are not just giving a listening ear. Why would you even sell these seedlings in the first place? If you're just selling them and uh, you just switch your phone off, you just switch it off to your clients, when you're given problems, you don't want to follow or you don't want to listen, 
if maybe it's a message about the negativity of your trees uh, that message will not be responded but when they are calling you to tell you that oh my trees are doing well that is when you respond huh? that is when you respond but now look at this farmer huh? she really invested in uh, this farm because if I can look around eh, I can see like about like almost 300 pieces in this piece of land hmm? that's about 300,000 yeah depending with uh, where she bought these trees eh? and now she has been left alone wondering what will happen yeah please kindly always follow your clients just get to know what needs to be done yeah just create that good rapport with your clients visit their <coughs> their farms often and uh, please kindly 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 we request you we humbly request you okay i humbly request you nursery dealers visit your clients get to know what issues they are having in their farm <coughs> Not just selling uh, seedlings and putting that lump sum uh, in your pocket. Yeah, that's not the main objective. Uh, if you are opening companies to help farmers and, you know, telling them that we now want Kenya to be among uh, apple growers, eh? uh, kindly, just, just follow up on what they are doing. Visit their farms often and uh, you'll be blessed you'll be blessed when your client is, is happy you are also happy and if you're out there you've noticed something weird with your apples or you have noticed something unusual in your apples uh, don't hesitate to call us because the mess we are seeing here wouldn't be this way if only uh, uh, we came on board and helped this farmer so don't hesitate don't hesitate and don't call us when now things are worse you just whenever you've noticed something however small it is just call us we are going to come on the ground we are going to give you the right remedies whether you bought these seedlings from us whether you, you bought them from elsewhere you know just don't hesitate we are going to guide you we are going to help you through and we, both of us will be smiling at the end of the day so just hit my uh, inbox or call me on plus two five four seven sixteen one eight nine nine six one and we are going to uh, come to your farm and we are going to assist you in all possible ways we can thank you mm -hmm.